We went on the local scene to talk to New England author Erin Petty. Are we ready to write? Yes! Yes! Yeah, sorry, that's good. So since 2022, the last time we talked, um, it seemed, I was just saying, it seems like that was yesterday, but it's been a really fast two years. I think I just released uh, Thelma B in Toil and Trouble, which is my second book. Um, and since then I've written the third book and that's gonna be coming out next year, so in 2025. So that's been the big writing project. Um, also, I was able to complete my 300 hour advanced yoga teacher training at Whitman Wellness Center. Um, my kids are two years older, lots of, lots of fun stuff. <laughs> So pens and poses is kind of almost the integration of all the creative work that I've been doing. Um, I have kind of two separate identities that I'm trying to merge into one project because they feed each other so nicely. So in addition to being a children's book author, I've been able to do a lot with creative writing programs locally. Um, here at Adventurous, which you'll see, um, and then with public schools all around the state, even going to, um, to towns in Massachusetts, we have a beautiful summer program there too. And that work started kind of inching closer to my yoga and mindfulness work. And then on the other end, I teach a lot of children's yoga classes. So. Thinking about integrating storytelling and mindfulness, and then also kind of infusing it with improvisational play because that's kind of a, an awesome puzzle piece to fit in there. It's been a really cool way to take down the walls between the different kinds of creativity and open up the idea that we're here to be creative. And when the kids leave, if that creativity means painting or jogging or braiding their sister's hair, whatever it is, it's all that same beautiful creative energy. So kind of like opening the doors to different modes of creativity has been a really nice integration process. What I like about this program is that we get to be our creative and we get to, um, we get to write and talk about what our passion is. And we totally get, like, get to like, write what we like what we want and like if we're inspired by other people. She is amazing and she I like about her how she respects everyone and how they make the story and gives us great ideas to add on to them. In a kind of a perfect world we would have these tools, these mindfulness tools available to kids from a really, really young age, um, beyond what it can offer to the creative process, which is, you know, I, when, when kids come to me, typically they wanna write books, they wanna write stories, and that is so exciting um, and so possible and such a great goal. And to kind of build the foundation of, of that, I, I feel like just moving through the world and having the tools to kind of regulate the nervous system and, get grounded when you need to and then get you know pumped up when you need to and it, it just really adds a different element to to what a kid has to in their toolbox so for me even even in as much as it, it has to do with paying attention you know for one of the first sessions in, in this particular workshop it was just we we sat and just kind of were, were silent for a few minutes and wrote down, you know, what are the things that you smell? What are the things that you hear? What are the, th because so much of art is paying close attention. And that's what we're doing in a lot of our mindfulness, mindfulness exercises too, is just paying attention to what's actually happen happening right now and using the senses and, and being fully present um, instead of allowing the mind to kind of jump ahead, jump ahead, jump ahead, jump ahead, jump ahead, jump ahead, and I'm worried about dinner and now I'm worried about breakfast tomorrow. And, and just be here, because when we're here, we can calm ourselves down, we can be in the moment, and when we're here, we can pay beautiful attention to the world around us and transmute that into artwork. So that it, it's, it's, it's for everyone, not just people who want to write books, but for people who want to write books, I think that practice can be especially useful. She like helps you if you need, um if you need help and she helps you with your story 
if you're stuck on a part, she like helps you get through it. She's really nice. Ha is an author and writes really good books. It's like watching this incredible transformation over the weeks from like just a, like a regular kid with a notebook to an author. And that happens in this room over the course of just a couple of weeks. So when they leave, I think that they, they feel it's just so much more capable of great things than they might have been before because they proved it to themselves that they can do it. And my job um, in like in the most foundational way, in the most just basic way, is to be a guide and a hype woman and to hold space. And it's and, and just giving them that freedom that like they're the boss of their own creative work. And I can I'll guide them along and give them tools, but this is something that they do, and they know that. They know that they did this. And at the end, um, the level of like confidence is, is really just incredible. I like that you can be creative and do what you want, and no one can tell you that you can't do that for your story. Um, that I get a lot of like, quiet time, and I can write on a piece of paper and not on a computer. Like, a, a lot of people comment to me about, like, oh, you seem so enthusiastic. Like, you seem, like, really enthusiastic. And what, like, I need to be very clear about is, like, I just really am psyched. <laughs> like, I'm so excited um, by their ideas. I'm so excited by the kind of natural, like, generative freedom that children have. And because I've, I, I want to do more adult workshops, and I've tried a couple of adult workshops, and it's just like such a different vibe because, like, you have to work through so much stuff like there's such a, a thick shell before you can get to like the freedom of creativity inside and when you're in fourth grade the, the shell is like pretty thin still so the ideas and the like the the why not of it all is magical so i just feel lucky i feel lucky i feel excited um and it's you know it's it's not some like being excited enthusiastic about their work is not something that I have to try to do. It's just, that's what the work makes me feel like. <laughs> My hope is that this continues on the trajectory that it's on because I was kind of talking about the, um, the way this piece has grown where I'm, where I'm teaching and, and, and leading kids through their own creative process and now integrating more about more modalities um, and exploring further, I feel like there's something a little bit unexplored about what we're starting to do. And I think I think it could help a lot of, of people. And I think it could be a real, um, a real way to think about creativity and mindfulness and even behavior management in the classroom. So I'm really excited to like learning more, working with more kids, building more materials, and just kind of seeing where this goes because it feels, it feels really, really exciting. If you enjoyed this video by the local scene, please give a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Thank you for watching.